Hello there, this is Nate, and today we're going to be reviewing my, uh, my school's what to expect for coming back. It's actually the whole school board, but I'm gonna blur that out so that you can't really see it. So anyway, you can see that they've turned off comments, which is a pretty big red f just kidding, it's not really a red flag, but don't, don't turn off comments if you're gonna post a YouTube video, it's just like... You, you don't do that, unless... Unless you know you're posting something controversial or something, I don't know. You, you just, just kind of like you don't you don't turn off comments on your video. That's just bad. It also has a really bad like to dislike ratio, probably partly because they turned off the comments. Then with this, and like especially with a video like this, it's probably not act anyone actually who's like running the channel. It's probably just like uh, they made the channel so they could upload a video like this and then they never like touch up on it. But then like. This is like an actual like place where you could have discussion here. I think someone could say, "Oh, what, 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 what do I do when I, you know, get to school, or when do I get my schedules and stuff?" And then someone else who might be running this channel, or who might just be, might just know what's going on, can respond to them. So that's kind of that. That's the first like bad thing. So anyway, that's probably why I think that's. Probably why the, the dislike ratio is so high. I've already watched like the first half of the video, but we're gonna we're gonna watch it now, and I'm gonna talk about things. Are we in our whatever quad HD plus? Just kidding, it's 1080p. But anyway, we're going here. Our priority is the safety and well-being of our students and staff. We have a. That's that's good. We'll we'll see. We'll see if that's. That that sounds good. That sounds good to me. All right, let's skip to the next. Ensure our schools are ready for doors will be locked. This is all exterior doors will be locked. So this is not too sure how to approach this one, but so the thing is, people like to go outside of the schools, like eat lunch and stuff. That's last year, like a lot of people would go outside to, you know, go go and get lunch and stuff. But we're not going to like. Have that this this year so this shouldn't be too much of a problem i can see like i can still i still think that people are going to get locked out probably probably a few times a week but it'll probably be not not too much of an issue so i don't know this is to limit parents guardians and visitors within the school unscheduled visitors will not be allowed to enter any approved visitors to schools will need to self-screen sign in at the office and wear a mask while on the premises directional signage and reminders to physically distance are posted throughout our schools many hallways are now one directional to help control physical distancing and flow of traffic so this this part here the the one-way hallways this this shouldn't be this is probably all right but then my school, it's like a circle, so if the hallway's one way, you can just like keep going, and then eventually you'll get around. But then, on the other side, you have like, on the other hand of the argument, you have the, I want to go the shortest route from one place to another, but it it's not going to be too important because you're not going to be moving or going in the hallways too much. And the only real problems I could I that could come from that is if your classroom is right next to like the bathroom. So then, but then the hallway is going the other way, and in that case, people are probably just not going to follow it, and it'll be pretty. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I don't see people are going. I don't see that these are going to be too effective. It's just, I don't know. Students will be required to wear a non-medical. So this is a big point here. Students will be required to wear a non-medical or cloth mask. So I have quite a few masks, just from I don't know, going places and stuff. But all of my masks are those surgical masks. So, which are, I've heard that the teachers are required to wear the surgical masks, and the students have to wear a non-medical mask, which is weird. I don't know if they'll actually like say, "Oh, you have a, a surgical mask, you cannot come in." I don't know if they'll actually do that. They Probably won't. But then, 
still weird that they would say you have to have a non-medical or cloth mask. But anyway, we have two minutes to go. When indoors, including in hallways, during class, and on school transportation. Families are required to send masks with students. However, masks will be available in the event that a student requires one. So they're probably just going to have the normal like surgical masks for when you show up without a mask. So if I don't know, that's that's what I think is going to happen. I'm Staff not sure though. Students will be expected to practice proper hand hygiene upon entering the school before and after eating and at scheduled intervals throughout the day. Every hand cleaning station has a signage to remind students of proper hand cleaning protocol and where to stand while waiting your turn to maintain physical distance. So, yeah, this is... I don't know if putting up signs is a great use of money, but it's like... It's fine. It'll... When I'm walking through the hall, I'll see the sign probably before I see the... Probably before I see this thing, so it... it thumbs up. ...distance. Common spaces, such as main offices and guidance offices, will be equipped with plexiglass and the floor markings to remind students of traffic flow and physical distance. Here. These people are wearing medical masks. These are, like, these are the surgical masks that they said not to wear. Kind of. So now I'm going to assume that these are allowed. And I'm probably going to wear one of those to school. So, yeah. That'll... I don't know, it's just distancing. not consistent In with addition, that. where possible, other physical distancing measures will be used. These include removing non-essential items from hallways and high traffic areas. So, avoiding it's not essential items. Not exactly sure what they mean by that. They could have, they could have like had a list somewhere. But it's, if they just mean like a, if they're talking about like garbage cans and stuff, then that's probably not a good idea because people will want to throw stuff out and they'll probably just throw it on the ground, which is not good if there's no garbage cans. So hopefully garbage cans are considered essential. They probably will be. And non-essential things, it's probably going to be like the, the breakfast club table that has food on it that you can grab. So that's... It'll be sad to see that go, but... It's in the whatever. It's for it's for a good cause. Avoiding activities involving shared objects that cannot be easily cleaned. A maximizing physical distance between chairs and tables, desks where possible. Washroom capacity signs are displayed on washroom doors. Inside signs to remind students to practice physical distancing and proper hand washing technique have been posted. All right, that's that's fine. I think it would be. Yeah, that's. I don't know. This, I don't have any problems with this. I guess they would. I guess you could argue that it might be better to have like more people in the washroom and then not have people in the hall. But I don't think that's really a valid argument. So we're not gonna make that argument. All school washrooms will be cleaned and disinfected throughout the school day and again every evening. Students will be encouraged to bring their own water bottles to school and will be directed to use filling stations. All drinking fountains with mouthpieces will be shut off. So, getting rid of the water fountains, that's a pretty, that's a pretty bold move for shutting off all the water fountains because most people, or a lot of people that I know, they don't, they don't bring their water bottles to school. Or, or they bring like a small water bottle and then they'll drink it like really quickly and then they'll need to go to the water fountains to get a drink. I mean, the water at the school tastes like awful. And if they do bring a small water bottle, they can refill it. That's what I'm assuming is going on. And drinking fountains with mouth pieces, mouth pieces means the one that you push it and then it makes like a little arc of water and then you drink from that. Which is pretty... Which is pretty sanitary, but you are touching the the button. So I think that another way they could have done this that probably would have been more expensive is have like a foot pedal or something. Make yeah, put the switch. Have the switch instead of being the button, be a foot pedal or something. But that would also like that would be a bit more complicated. Or they could just have it like normal and just put hand sanitizer like next to it or something. But either way, this is 
this is fine if people do bring their water bottles. And if they forget water bottles, then they might just get dehydrated. And I think, I'm not sure if the vending machine... Oh yeah, the vending machines might be taken out because they're not really completely essential. So if you, bring, if you don't bring your water bottle, you might be screwed. You might not be screwed. I have, They haven't really covered that yet. Students will be expected to keep their personal belongings with them throughout the day. At this time, lockers will not be available. Wait a minute, I think I heard a, I think I heard a microphone clipping. All pieces will be shut off. Yeah, that, hear that? That was a microphone clip. Uh, I don't know, it's... If I do like this, like that's kind of what it was. So anyway, that's, that's not a problem, that's fine. Students will be expected to keep their personal belongings with them throughout the day. At this time, lockers will not be available for students to store belongings. So no lockers. This probably means that there won't be that there won't be a gym class, maybe, which isn't good because I don't know. Which is, I guess it's all right, but I, I like gym, and that's most people do. But there might also still be gym, and you'll just have to carry your gym stuff around all day. But I've also heard that there's only one class like all day. And it will be revisited once the colder weather arrives, as they say, and it's already getting kind of... It's already cooling down. Like, if you have your backpack, like, a lot of the, the classes are going to be smaller this year, and, like, last year, the, the classes were pretty big. Like, you could have, like, 20 or 30 kids in a class. And then if people brought their backpacks and then had them, like, under the desks or something, then... It would be really easy to trip over a backpack, and that's what a lot of the teachers had problems with. Most of the students, including me, didn't really mind. I don't know. It's just... It was just some more clutter. But now, now that the classes are going to be a lot smaller, in the same rooms, of course, and the desks will be farther apart, having your backpacks inside the school will be fine, even more okay than before. So this is... Yeah, this is all right. This will be revisited once the colder weather arrives. We have hired additional custodians who will support the disinfection of high traffic areas in schools and touch points that are regularly used by students and This is probably the This is probably the best thing that they've done. Got to hire those It's good. It's good that they did that. Staff. It's probably going to make the biggest difference in the stopping the virus or whatever. After school, electrostatic sprayers and other cleaning technologies will be used to disinfect high touch points within school buildings. It's an electrostatic sprayer. Okay, so it's it's kind of expensive, but that's a low resolution image. Classroom doors will always remain open so that doorknobs are not repeatedly touched, and light switches will remain on in classrooms and common. Yeah, that's another probably that's another big point there. Areas. Good. We remain committed to our community and are ready for the safe return of our staff and students. Yeah, seems good. Overall, I'll rate this video like a probably eight or ten. It was pretty pretty good. They didn't. They really didn't like. Uh, actually, never mind. I think it's more of a six out of ten because they didn't actually explain anything about how the classes are going to work or anything. But they have explained that earlier, so I'll, I'll bump it back up to probably like a 7 out of 10, because they could have... They could have told more stuff. There's... It's a bit of a boring video, but... It was informative, and that's what really matters, so... I think 7 out of 10, is that fair? That's much better than the, uh, the, 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 like, 3 out of 10, or 4 out of 10 that the community decided on. But... They, they could have... I could have definitely made it better and more informative by like saying what's actually going to happen instead of being just saying the safety precautions. They could have said they could have they should probably should have titled it like safety precautions that they're going to take instead of what to expect secondary schools because it's they were they didn't really say what's going to happen. So yeah, that's that's that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.